for your tank here. Okay, so the next thing is to optimize our model. Okay, remember, we insert our or we edit our, our network parameters by using flexible and we assign our demands on each our nodes by using uh, the demand control center. And lastly, we validate our model and then we click compute to, uh, to run our model. Okay, so the next part is to optimize our model. And by the way, if you are getting anything out of the, this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button. Of course, you can help; it will help me a lot. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Now let's go. Uh, let's move to the model optimization. Now, the first thing that we uh, that we need to do to optimize our model is first we need to see the values because as of, as of now we only have these arrows right we only having these arrows but we don't know uh, what are the velocities what are the flow or whatever whatever and to do that we want to activate the annotation for links or for the pipes so i'll just go back here and uh, as you can see on the left here we have the pipe okay for now the active level the label is active so we need to introduce another annotation which is nothing but the flow okay nothing but the flow let me select annotation and from from this window here uh, what we need to do is to select is to select the results okay results and select the flow okay flow and uh, if i click apply you can see this is what we're having but we but it's not looks good and uh what i can do is to change the y offset so on the y on the y direction i need to move it to positive two so on the way on the y direction positive two which is upward positive two and then click apply you can see now the flow values are not visible because we have this label which is active so from here i'll just click apply and okay and also I need to turn on to turn off uh, this label annotation so so as this uh, flow value is visible okay so flow value is visible and uh, what I can do next as you can see now we are having a uh, negative values so to solve this uh, neg uh, negative flow values just click then reverse click and reverse okay and also uh, these two values just click them and reverse and also uh, this one here click and then reverse now we are having now the flow so now we we are able to see the flow the flow values and uh, the next thing that we need to do is to introduce the velocity uh, then velocity select the results then from the results i need to select the velocity just go down here and see we have velocity now from here just click ok you can see now we are having this value but I, I want to push this value the V value to negative 2 in y, in y direction so now it is visible so this is the value and uh, before I even move further I want to start to optimize my model by taking into consideration the velocity remember the acceptable range for velos for velocity uh, varies from country to country but for the mo for the most cases is from 0 0.5 all the way to 1.5 or 2 meters per second okay now from here what we are having is 0 0.6 0 0.8 and again 1.89 okay so if i click so this is what we are having mm, the next value that i can change and that i can edit let me add the other value which is the unit head loss again this is the other parameter that we can use to optimize our model which is the unit head loss and uh, for as far as our, our water gems concerned we need to deal with the head loss gradient okay head loss gradient and if i click apply then this is the value that we are having of course for now it is meter it is in meters per meter and uh, this is not what we want but i'll show you how to edit later on for now because we are having it let me just click apply and click ok but let me turn it off first um 
I want to optimize my model by taking into consideration velocity first, then I'll shift to unit head loss. And uh, from here you can see the value that we are having here is quite big, which is uh, 0 0.8 and 9. And also the values that we are having here, again, we also need to change them. So let me first remove this the flow. So now we have only velocity. Okay, so if uh, this is the value of uh, velocity, I can see that it's, uh, it's, it's quite big and it's quite big because we are having a lot of head losses. And the only way to reduce the, the head losses is by increasing the uh, pipe diameter. So if we increase the pipe diameter, meaning that we are going to reduce the head losses within the pipe and eventually we are, we are going to increase the velocity of water within that particular pipe. Now from here, I can just double click this, you can see, and this is what we are having. So if I increase the diameter to let's say 1110, remember we are supposed to use the internal diameter or inside diameter of the pipe, not the outside. Let me click uh, close and let me run my model again. You can see now we are having 0 0.2 and no longer 0 0.89. Let me increase a little bit and see if uh, what I have, 160 pipe and see what I have. You can see now this is what we are having, uh, 0 0.6. Let me uh, maintain this one. Then if there is anything that I can change, we're going to change it later on. Now, the other area is, of course, uh, this one here. You can see here we have uh, very little um, uh, values for uh, velocities, but let me not touch uh, these ones for now. And then let me close or let me deactivate the velocity annotation and activate the uh, head loss gradient value. Okay, as of now, you can see it is it, it is not as visible as we want. Uh, what I can do is to shift uh, this value into positive uh, value. So from here, let me click, uh, right click and click edit. This is what we are having, right? Uh oh, not this. Okay, so th this is what we are having. Let me select here. Let me click here. Then select. Oh, now before we go here, let me select here. So let me put here positive 2. So I want to shift at these values here, which for now, yeah, they are not visible. I want to shift them to positive at 2 value in Y direction, which is upward and downward. Vertically. So let me select this, apply. You can see now the unit, uh, oh, the head loss gradient is quite visible for now. But the other issue that we are having here is that we are having the uh, head loss gradient in uh, meters per meter. And what I want is to display my, va my values in uh, meters per kilometers. And to go around this, the only thing that we can do is actually very simple. We can use uh, the flex table or we can just click one by one or we can just click just any link, then we can change everything. But let me go back to the flex table again. And let me select pipe. You can see now, um, actually it is now not here. Uh, head loss. Okay, so this is the head, head loss gradient. What I can do is to right click and select the unit and format. Okay, so this is the first option. And the other option, as I said, is to click any of the link and select properties. Then from here, you can change your values to the value that you, are, you want, of course, which is the uh, this one here. But for now, I want to use the uh, flex table. Of course, feel free to use the other option. So for flex tables, let me select uh, this one, pipe, and the, uh, the head loss gradient. Let me right click this and select um, units and formats and formatting. So for units, I don't want to display my head loss uh, gradient or the head loss gradient values into uh, a meters per meter. I want to use um, I want to use the meters per kilometers. Okay, and the display pre precision to three. Let me maintain a three for now. Let me click. Okay, you can see now this is what we are having. Again, for head loss gradient or unit head losses, the only thing that we need to make sure that our values are always maintained 
is uh, within acceptable range and again this uh, values here varies from country to country somewhere from uh, 5 meters per kilometers all the way to 10 meters per kilometers is possibly acceptable in many countries okay for me i'm going to make sure that my values are always maintained maintained around 5 kilometers per or 5 meters per kilometers all the way to 10 meters per kilometer around there now from here i can see the only issue the only place where we are having some issues is actually around this area here now before i even move further let me change uh, this one first and um so what does this mean is that we we are having a lot of i uh, uh, head loss in this uh, area and this is the reason why we are even having uh, this uh, velocity value which is 0 0.9 which is, is not bad but this value here is quite not acceptable so what i can do is to uh, double click this and of course let me find the diameter of course because we are having uh, a lot of uh, head losses the only way to reduce head losses is by increase uh, the pipe diameter of course that is one among the options that we can use so let me find the pipe diameter which is in physical pipe diameter let me increase it to 1110 and see what we are having if we are having if this value is still are not reduced you can see now we are having eight okay so from 23 all the way to eight and what does that mean because the head losses are now reduced so if i check the flow or the velocity or water speed you can see now we're having 0 0.6 right at least for now we are, we are having a good um, result here so the next option is to deal with uh, this area of course i want to reduce the precision because i can see this numbers quite a lot so to do that what i can do what i can do is to go back to my uh, flex table or for now let me double click one of them and i want to go to head loss gradient the idea is to reduce the precision and all the way to two let's say two we want to use two yeah we want to use two you can see now we are having two and uh you can see now here we are having very very low uh, values for this one because it is even below five meters per kilometers so what does this mean it's quite simple uh, what does it mean is that the pipe that we are using is quite big compared to the flow or to okay to the flow of water that is passing through it and the only way to re, to increase these values is to increase the uh, head losses which in other way to reduce the pipe diameter so as we can allow uh, accumulation of more uh, head losses within that particular pipe so from here i can just click this and um i know well, what i need to do is to reduce the pipe diameter okay pipe diameter let me go back here and find the pipe, dia pipe diameter. So for now we have 90. Let me take it back to let's say 63, which is two inch pipe. Remember the inside diameter is what is, is required. If I run, you can see now we are having around four, which is not that bad. It's bad, but not that bad. Let me take it down to 50. at least for now that is the value that we're having and again this one to 50 and also this one the same value which is 50 and uh, lastly around this region let me take it to maybe 50 and see what we are having oh i think for now we are having a lot uh, pro <laughs> we introduced another uh, problems other problems so let me increase uh, this pipe diameter again 63 and again this one 63 and uh, let's run okay you can see for now this is the situation that we are having it's not that bad okay and again let me select the velocity again you can see for velocity as soon as I activated this velocity you can see what we are having is these values of course we are having some few problems here but they are not that bad okay so this is the velocity value and again the next parameter so we have a velocity unit head loss and 
the last parameter that we need to take it into account is the pressure okay residue pressure pressure whatever so for pressure we are not going to we are not will not be able to view the pressure on the pipes okay so the pressure the only way we can view the pressure is by using the junctions okay so from the junction i'll need to select a new annotation and select and i need to select the results and lastly i need to select pressure okay and I, as soon as I click apply, you can see this is what we are having, okay? So the pressure uh, results are in uh, uh, kilopascal and this is not what we want. Of course, for now, uh, let me shift upward to and again in X direction. I don't think if, of course, I need to turn on to turn off the labels. And uh, that is done. So the label now is off. Oh, I need to change its units. Okay, so to edit the pressure values, what I can do is by using... Okay, so let me double click uh, one of the junction and find the pressure in this uh, result. Let me find the results pressure. You can see uh, this is what we are having, of course, uh, which is in kilopascal which is a residual pressure. So let me select this and select unit formatting. Now from here, what I can do is to change my values to meters of water column, which is uh, this one here, meters of water column. Of course you can use even bar if you want, but for me, I want to use uh, meters, per, uh, meters of water columns. And again, the precision here, I'll just make sure that I want to at least two. You can change it any values that you want. For now, I can just maintain the way it is. You can see now, this is what we are having okay so you can see around these areas here the pressure we don't have a lot of uh, problems when it comes to pressure because it is advised that for most articulation systems or water distribution systems at least you need to have around uh, 10 meters of water columns all the way to 30 and sometimes even a six a six meters of water, of water columns depend on the country that you are living yeah, just make sure that you consult the design manual for your country then you can see all the required values but because for now the pressure values are within acceptable values which by any case is not above uh, three bars or not above 30 meters of water columns so we are going to uh, maintain our model the way it is okay so there is nothing that we can change around this region okay as far as pressure is is concerned and the other value let me go back to pipes and deactivate a loss um is there any other optimization that we can do of course if feel free to proceed or feel free to change anything that uh, if you want but for me i think uh, because of time i'll just I'll leave it the way it is 